Hey guys, I'm Brent, the Nerdy Engineer, and today I want to talk about uh, the pros and cons of using a Model X with small children, uh, particularly infants, and how to baby-proof your car. We recently had this little guy show up. We've dubbed him the Nerdy Engineer 2.0, and so we've just had to go through all this. Now, I do have the ultra-white seats, which I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, what an idiot. Why would you get ultra-white seats if you have an infant? However, Elon Musk tweeted that the ultra-white seats are actually the most stain-resistant, and there's another YouTube channel out there called Like Tesla that a while ago did a video to show how stain resistant the ultra-white seats were. Uh, they put ketchup and coffee on their seats and they wiped up uh, no problems, nothing, no residue stained, anything like that. And also there have been reports, people that have had their car for about a year now and have put a lot of miles on their car and they say the ultra-white seats are holding up really well. Uh, they don't have any staining on them. However, I also have the ventilated seats and only the front two are actually ventilated, but all the seats throughout the car are still perforated. That way, for aesthetic reasons, they look the same. And that made me a little more nervous. So to protect the seats, I got a seat protector. It covers the bottom and the back. It's by Bricka. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. It's working really great. However, if you do get a seat protector, uh, be careful when you install your car seat because a lot of the warnings online are that the grip on the seat protector actually makes it feel like you have your car seat installed correctly when in fact it's too loose. So what I'd recommend is going to your local fire station and uh, they'll check your car seat for you, make sure it's installed properly, uh, especially if you have one of the seat protectors under there. One of the points that Elon Musk and a lot of people touted about the Model X was how easy it is to get a car seat in and out of the car. And it truly is. Because the Falcon Wing door actually opens up, you can basically climb into the car, you know, you're not having to go through a small opening to get the car seat in and out. Uh, it makes it so much easier to get the car seat in and out. You know, the Nerdy Engineer 2.0 is still pretty tiny, but as it gets larger, that's going to become more and more of a benefit. One word of caution that I hadn't really seen talked about online much is with a rear-facing car seat, if you're tall, you're not going to be able to put it behind you. Uh, I'm pretty short, and with my rear-facing car seat, it just touches the back of the driver's seat. Uh, now, the seat's not 100% back, but it's back as far as it goes to be able to put the third row seat down. Yeah. If you put the middle row seat back all the way, when you go to drop the third row, this middle row seat scoots forward a little bit. And so I left it in that position, but you're still not gonna gain much by pushing it back all the way. Because the rear facing car seat basically touches the back of my driver's seat, I also picked up these Bricka kick pads. They basically just protect the seat back from any sort of scratching from the car seat. So it's a pretty cheap solution for that. You can also get your seat backs wrapped. Uh, some people have done that just because they didn't like the shininess or the fingerprints, and you can get it wrapped in something like Expel. But uh, again, I'm cheap, so I went with the $20 solution instead of the one that costs hundreds of bucks. One other negative about the rear-facing car seat, and it ties back to the lack of room between the car seat and the seat in front of it, is that I can't actually put the bar all the way down. Uh, it hits the seat and it doesn't lock in there. So I only have two positions that it will work in. And this one completely blocks the view with the mirror. So I have to leave it in the upright position, which still partially blocks the mirror. I really can't see much of this mirror. Uh, the handle's blocking, my headrest is kind of blocking it. So when I'm looking in the rear view mirror, I can't see much of the mirror and it's dark inside the car, so I can't really see him that well. Speaking of the mirror, you can't just get any old mirror that you want uh, because with the Model X, the headrest is integrated with the seat, so you're limited on how you can attach it. Uh, I bought this Chico one that it rotates around and has four straps that snap together. That way I was able to rotate it kind of like an X and strap it that way. So it works, it fits on here pretty well, it's pretty stable. The last step in baby proofing your car is getting some all weather mats. And right now there's three different main companies selling the mats. There's Tough Pro, Lloyd's, and then Tesla selling the WeatherTech ones on their site. However, the Tesla ones, they don't actually have the, the driver and passenger seats yet. It's just the middle, frunk, and the trunk. So for me it was either between Lloyd's or Tough Pro and Lloyd's just cost so much more. Uh, I think they, they look good, but I don't think they really look that much better. They're basically on the same level as the Tough Pro to me. And so I went with the Tough Pro. Uh, Tough Pro is, I think they look great. They fit in the car really well, and they do a really good job of trapping stuff 
in the little hexagons. So you want to get a set of all-weather mats, uh, and you can get those, the Tough Pro ones, right from Amazon. I'll leave a link to them in the description down below. One of the other nice things about a Tesla over a gasoline car is you don't have to take up your valuable trunk space with a stroller. You can actually fit your stroller right in your trunk. We have the Britax B Agile, and it doesn't actually fit with the wheels on it. However, you can take your wheels off and it'll fit right in there. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to my channel so you can see my upcoming videos.